On the morning of November 7, 1940, the engineering world witnessed a shocking event. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington collapsed into the water after twisting and dancing violently in strong winds, just four months after it opened. So why did this bridge, nicknamed Galloping Gertie, by the public, collapse? It all began with a series of engineering mistakes. The bridge was too narrow for its 853-meter main span and lacked sufficient rigidity. Engineers of the time had not accounted for the aerodynamic effects of wind and the torsional movements it could produce. Flat plate girders did not allow the wind to pass through, instead, they caused the bridge to sway like a gigantic wing. After its opening, the swaying of the bridge was a warning, but it was not taken seriously. In the end, the wind blowing at around 70 km per hour combined with the bridge's natural oscillation frequency, making the disaster inevitable. Fortunately, there were no human casualties, but this incident sparked a revolution in bridge engineering and made wind tunnel testing a standard requirement. Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments. You can watch the full video on my channel.